the question says the difference between the sides at right angles in a right angle triangle is 14 centimeter so let's make the figure for you to understand this better let's say if i make a right angle triangle over here now check here here the difference is not given between the hypotenuse and any other side it is given between the two sides containing the right angle so that means the difference is 14. That means if I take this as x, the other will be x plus 14. You may write x minus 14 also because the difference is in both ways it is same. Now further we are given the area of this triangle. As you can see that the area of the triangle is how much? 120 centimeter square. And then what we have to find out is the perimeter of the triangle. We know that we can calculate the perimeter number one if we have the length of the hypotenuse so i name this triangle as abc first we are going to get the value of x so what we know here uh, number one area of a triangle right so area of the triangle abc is given as how much 120 centimeter square and what's the formula for calculating the area it is half multiplied by base as you can see base is x over here that multiplied by the altitude and altitude is x plus 14 which is equal to 120. Next I am going to transpose this 2 to the other side. So 120 into 2 right should give you how much 240 and this is how much x square plus 14x on opening this bracket. Now for further simplification we can figure out that we are going to get a quadratic equation. So we need to factorize this. So for factorize, so we are going to factorize 240. Now to factorize this is 2, how much times 120, 260 times, 230 times, 215 times, 35 times and 51 times. So we need to get how much 14 from these factors. So I can see that if I club these factors together and this is how much? No, one more that is including this this two so we have eight eight yeah, that's 24 right that's 24 and the other two factor that is 2 into 5 is 10 so you can see that from we can split 240 we can split 240 as what 24 into 10 so as to get 14 now so let's uh, factorize it so this is x square I'm going to write 14x as what? 24x minus 10x minus 240 equals 0. So what I did actually, I factorized this 14x. Now we can see that we have x common from the first two terms. So it is x plus 24 on taking minus 10 common. We are getting again x plus 24 as we have taken minus common that results to give you these two as the factor. Now equating this with 0, we are getting x as was minus 24 and equating this with 0, the other factor, we are getting x as 10. Now what do we know that this cannot be a fact, uh, value of x as the these are the x is the length and length cannot be negative. So we'll go for x as 10. Now once we get the value of x over here, we can write down the values over here check here we can say that we have uh, ab which was x so x comes out to be 10 and then this is you now ab is x plus 10 so it is 10 plus 14 is 24 and uh, bc is x so that means bc will give you how much 10 only now in order to find the perimeter first we need to find the hypotenuse so we know that square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides so ac square ab is how much ab we got as 24 so it's 24 square and bc is how much x so it is 10 square so ac square comes out to be this is actually a pythagorean triplet if you remember 576 plus 100 that results to give you ac square as 676 so ac comes out to be 26 these are in centimeter so now we know that perimeter is what the sum of the three sides 
is what perimeter so we'll get the perimeter as what the sum of three sides that is ab plus bc plus ac we know the length of ab from here that is how much 24 centimeter bc is what 10 and ac is how much ac we got as 26 so this is 24 that is 60 right this is 50 plus 10 60 centimeter is what the perimeter that's how we will do this question